we'll talk about the Islamic schizophrenia and some syndrome called FDS. I'll explain FDS later on. But uh, Islamic schizophrenia. Watching all these news and watching all these refugees from Muslim countries flooding all over the area, going to Turkey, Greece, Hungary, to reach Germany, to reach France, the UK, exposing themselves to so many dangers, even across the sea, drowning in the sea with their families, to choose to go to the land of the infidels, the Kuffar. In the meantime, if you don't know about geography, Saudi Arabia, the mother of Islam and mother of Islamic terrorism, right there on the border. Iran is right there on the border too. So if you're a Muslim, Sunni Muslim, and you want a refugee status, you can go to Saudi Arabia. If you're Shia, and you want to get refugee status, you can go to Iran. But guess what? All these Muslim refugees choose to go to Kuffar, the infidels in Europe, in America, in Australia, all the non-Muslim countries. For them to go ahead, give them asylum, refugee status, salaries, housing them, feeding them, taking care of the, their kids and their schools and everything. Literally taking care of their life, period. But there's a problem here. That's when I talk about the Islamic schizophrenia. Right after they settle, they start demanding their shitty thing again. The same refugees who escaped Islamic Sharia law and Muhammad teachings, they go to the land of infidel using, using the, the Western society, freedom and democracy, to implement the same thing they escaped. Does that make sense to you? They escaped of Islam and Islamic terrorism Islamic and Muhammad Sharia Allah and the Quranic teaching run to the infidels and right after they settled they start calling for uh, first they're gonna look for the first mosque if there's no mosque they want to build the mosque they're gonna start asking for uh, halal crap they're gonna ask about uh, all Islamic shit Eid and all these things that is the Islamic schizophrenia. They escape the same thing they want to implement after they settle in the land of the infidel. But I this call this also the flying donkey syndrome. Because they believe in that crap and all those lies of Muhammad and his flying donkey. They believe it so much, They, while they were kids, they teach them that, they teach that in the schools. It's not easy to get, to get, to get it out of their brains. It's complete brainwashing. And this is actually, by mentioning this, I always, and I said this way back in my earlier videos, for you Westerners, Europeans, Australians, Americans, to sustain your society, take care of your society, the Christian community, the Jewish community, the Hindu community, everybody. With Islam, you need to do one thing only. When you bring the Muslim refugee, you need to put one condition and one condition only. Leave Islam and welcome to our society. A lot of you don't know Islam, 
So you think this is just not fair. But I want to tell you this, and you have thousands and thousands of examples. Islam will never coexist with any culture, with any society, with any religion, because you are in their eyes and their thinking, you are the infidels, you are the kafir, you are the one who's going to burn in hell when you go to afterlife. One advice only to everybody who are in, in power and understand this, listen to this. I think the first victim of Islam is Muslims, I mean Muslims themselves, the very first victims of Islam. So if they want to come here and enjoy this beautiful life, the American dream, the American life, the Western society, one condition only, leave Islam or leave my country. That's after a while, but to have them here, this is major thing need to take care of. That's the Islamic schizophrenia. Might uh, sound strange to you now. Look at it. Look what happened to Islam and people, I mean countries hosted Islam and Islam become majority. See what they, what happened to them. And uh, look what is happening now and what will happen. And by the way, Islamic terrorism is still going on on high scale. So you're going to get high-scale refugees. You need to think about this now. God bless you all. God bless America.